sweets welcome back to my channel sweet sadie j tv thank you guys so very very much for all the support you show my channel happy blessed sunday everyone no i did not make it to church oh woe is me y'all i could not get out of that bed because i did not go to sleep until around 5 a.m so i streamed as always i don't stream several times today oh my god i missed an awesome awesome service today but Anyway, I digress. I have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys as per use. So, without wasting your time or mine, let's jump right into this okay, Dollar Tree haul. I found these new resealable bag, sugar-free, MGC Health, menthol cough suppressant, oral anesthesia, um, cough drops. I've never seen these before. They looked, they stood out. They stood out completely from amongst all the regular Dollar Tree cough drops. It says, relieves coughs and soothes sore throats. They're honey lemon flavored. Soothing drops. Starts working in seconds. Temporarily relieves cough. Honey lemon flavor. And they're sugar free. And you get 25 um, drops in this bag. And so I picked up a bag because y'all know I'm a night cougher. As soon as I fall off to sleep for some reason, y'all, I will start coughing and wake right back up. But I keep plenty of cough drops right there at my nightstand. So all I have to do is reach over and grab a cough drop. This also says, oh, choking hazard. It does have an expiration date of February of 2026. And like I said, it's a resealable bag. It is from MGC Health Medical Group Care from Centerway, Naples, Florida. So, yeah, I've never saw those, seen those before at the Dollar Tree. So, I grabbed a bag of those. I was just telling you guys the other, in the last haul, I believe, that I didn't, I wasn't able to find any of my donut cafe. I think I kept saying cafe donut. Um, I don't know. But I found two little straggly, um, Four, four packs of my donut, let me see if I can get this right, of my donut cafe. The boxes are empty because I already have them in my um, pod holder. So I did find some, y'all. I found two little lonely strays. And the best buy on these is best of use by July 16, 2026. So I was really, really happy to find these because, like I said, I did not make it to church today. So... That meant no road trips, okay? And I had my heart set on going to the Nightdale Dollar Tree and um, a Raleigh Dollar Tree. And I was really disappointed. But, anywho, I digress. Let's move on. Um, I found these, I think, in Wake Forest, North Carolina. The first one on Capitol Boulevard. These are really small, but for me, they're perfect because they're portion control. This is Quaker um, Instant Oatmeal Maple and Brown Sugar, flavored with other natural flavors. It's a one point... Let me just get these glasses, y'all. Get glasses, I'll Get glasses. I'm always giving myself a headache, strain, and trying to see things, especially when I'm trying to read. So this is a 1.69 ounce container. Heart healthy, 100% um, whole grain, 33 grams or more per serving. And the best before is September 14th, 2025. And I saw these. We've had stuff like this before, but not in a while. So I grabbed two of those while I saw it. This is a perfect little um, light breakfast for me in the morning. You know, when I don't feel like making my usual eggs and toast and stuff like that. So, I did grab two of these, and they look good. I'm sure the sugar is high because it's maple brown sugar. Yeah, the carbs are 37 grams minus 3 and 14 grams of sugar. But, again, these are nice size, very well portion control. So, I did grab two of those. Let me put those over here because I don't want them to get squished. Squished. <clears throat> and then I found some... Miscellaneous hodgepodge. I believe we had these before. These are the Dunkin' Chocolates, Donut Flavored Filled Chocolates. This one is the brownie batter. The first ones they came out with was the jelly ones, I believe. And my sister liked those, but I like the brownie ones. So they're bringing these back out into my area Dollar Trees. Every Dollar Tree I've been to in my area all have restocked these. And the best before or best buy on this would be... 
La 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 la. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> oh, there it is in bold print. March 2025. <laughs> so, yeah, these were really, really good. Nice little tasty snack to um, throw in your bag. And I was looking for some of the um, the beef jerkies in the bags because I like these again as another snack to put into my um, my purse. And I never, I don't, couldn't remember if I tried these before, y'all. Ugh, these glasses, yuck. I couldn't remember if I had tried these before. These are the meat snacks, Jack Link's beef jerky. These are the peppered one. It says it's seasoned with crack, cracked black pepper. It's made with 100% beef and 6 grams of protein. And it is a 0625 ounce package. It says no added nitrates or nitrates. No added MSG and 60 calories, and it is best before or best by October 2nd, 2026. And I ate these on the way home because I got hungry and did not want to stop off at any fast food places. So, yeah, I munched on these until I got home. They were really delicious. If I see them again, I will repurchase these. They were great. You know, and they didn't, like, ruin my appetite for my dinner or anything. So, and then I saw these, and I, I can't remember. I'm so confused, you guys, because Dollar Tree is making us cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. They keep, um, you know, restocking things, repackaging items. And it, now it's getting harder and harder for me personally to keep up with things, whether I saw them before or not. But anywho, it's no big deal. I found these meat snacks, Jack Link's Turkey Jerky, original, made with white meat turkey breast, made with 100% turkey, and these are 8 grams of protein. Same size bag, 0 0.625 ounces, and they are best um, by June 28th of 2025, and y'all know I went for the turkey jerky, right? I got me two packs of these, and I probably will get more. Because these are great little um, pr protein snacks when you're on the road and you're hungry and you don't want to, you know, eat any crap. And it says the same thing, no added nitrates or night rights or night, yeah, night rights, no added MSG and 50 calories per package. 50 calories, y'all. See that? 50 calories per package. So I definitely was excited to see it. And I just don't know. I cannot remember whether or not we've had these before. So because I was in a grocery store or somewhere and I saw some turkey jerky. I think it was food line. I was like, oh, I need to get it until I saw the price. <laughs> when I saw that price, I changed my mind okay, real well, quick. This is another okay. one of those gummy slime little um, packages that they carry at the Dollar Tree from time to time. You remember the sushi one? Well, I found this one is from SpongeBob, Nickelodeon Squ um, SpongeBob SquarePants. This is called Kadunks Nickelodeon Slime. It's gummy candy with sour candy goo. You get green apple slime, pineapple gummies, and it's a 1.90 ounce package. And it's best before, ooh, those pineapple things look yuck. This is best um, by July 8th of 2025, and I had never seen this before, and I found this in my large Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road, and then as I went to other Dollar Trees, I started seeing it. So there's the pineapple gummies, and there's the green apple goo or slime. <laughs> Y'all see that? I was like, okay, you know what? <laughs> I never did open that sushi one. It's still in my pantry. It's probably expired by now. But uh, let me see if I can get this open. Because I don't know why they make these openings so hard when it's when this stuff is mostly for kids. But if I can open it, I will try it later on. I can't get it open right now. Let's just move on. Okay. I think that's all the edible stuff so far. Let's move on to the hodgepodge items. I picked up some different color diamond pens that I had never seen these colors before. And I really wish I had to pick up more, but I know exactly where I got them from. So I will be going back there, but I saw these dark green diamond pens. And every year I, I give my sisters 
loads and loads of these diamond pens because they love them. But I've never seen the dark green ones like this. I was looking for red, but I didn't see any red. So I got three green, and then I saw just all solid black. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen these before, and we all love these diamond pens. So, I got one of each for all of us for right now, you know, one green and one black. And if I see them again, I will pick up some more because I always put these in both of my sister's Christmas bags because, yeah, they'll fight over those pens, okay? And we don't want no fighting. And another pen, this is not Dollar Tree, this is... Where do I get this from? Oh, the beauty supply store. Y'all know I don't buy a whole lot of stuff out of that beauty supply store, right? Because <laughs> they just so overpriced to me. But I saw this cute little pen. Well, they had many. This was the one that I chose. And I see a lot of people making these like on their channels and stuff. But this is just fashion accessories. It's a black ink pen. And it comes in purple. And it just had that little bear, colorful bear on it. And it just called my name, y'all. It just called my name. I was like, it was only a dollar ninety-nine. You know, that's in my, you know, <laughs> that's in my price range, okay? So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger. They had many, and I do mean many. Oh, my little bear just came off when I tried to take him out of here. So I'm trying to get the pen out. And let's see, they got it tied with this little ribbon and here's the pen and it's so cute let's see let's take the tip off don't forget to pull the tip off let's see how it writes oh oh that's very nice okay all right that that writes really really well so i've got this and now all i have to do is put the teddy bear look at the point y'all that's like very unique and different that's what the point looks like and then my little bear which is the star of the show is the reason why i bought it <laughs> let's see it's the reason oh the plastic bag done sealed itself again okay so the little bear does not want to come out y'all just in case you uh see me struggling here let me see he goes back on like this okay that's very simple to do let me see how simple it is. My nails in the way. Okay, there he is. So there's the little bear. And he was just so co colorful. Looks kind of like spaceship or games. I don't know. But I just like the colors that was hanging off the purple pen. So I grabbed it for $1.99 from the beauty supply okay, store. Okay, I have some beauty items. A lot of crazy stuff here. But I love, love, love when Crown Jewels comes out every year with their little um, inspirational journals. And they have some that are wrapped in the plastic and are slightly larger. And then they have others that are smaller but not in the plastic. Well, I give these as gifts. My sisters love these journals. I love these journals. So I found um, these at a few stores that I went to. And I chose the larger ones that were still in the plastic. Everyone knows Crown Jewels is a women-owned company. And they work, um, I guess, primarily with, with um, Dollar Tree. But anyway, this one says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. John 14, 1. And it looks like this. And I don't know if my sister's doing as much writing now as she was before because she's still trying to get her home together. Slowly but surely, she's getting her place together. And we video chat each other all the time. And each time she shows me something else she's done, it's just so beautiful. Okay, and this one says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. This one's probably mine <laughs> because it's just got that little purple down there. But if you can see it, I hope you guys can see this what it says these are so beautiful y'all y'all know you've seen them before or maybe this one might be my <laughs> it's got a little bit more purple in it this is um where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom second corinthians 3 17 so this one looks like this you can see it 
they're just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i'm going to open one of these up for you so you can see what the inside looks like and this one says when you go through deep waters i will be with you isaiah 43 2 thank you lord <laughs> thank you thank you lord because <laughs> we cannot do it on our own no matter how much we think we can <laughs> stop fooling yourself stop it because god is in complete control and so, yeah, I, I got four for now. And like I said, I've seen them at multiple different stores. <gasps> oh, this is gorgeous. They really switched up this year, y'all. They made it a little bit more fancy. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I think they say the same scriptures, yep, on both sides, both the top and on the bottom. But look at the decoration. And you get to write in here. Okay, so that is gorgeous. Should I open them all up and show y'all? I know I can't hear you, but I'm going to open them up and show y'all. So give me a minute. Okay, Let me open these These up. are all just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. This one, I think, is going to be mine. I think I like this one the best. And it says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. But when you open it up, it has the green paper. and has the scripture up top. And not down bottom, but this is beautiful. They really zhuzh these up. They really, really zhuzh these up this year. Look at this. These were not made like this last year, okay? So I am really, really loving the way they improved. And I'm trying to keep the plastic separate. And then this one, where the spirit is, is where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Second Corinthians. Look at this, y'all. Look at the gold around here and the 125 is in small print you can black that out with a sharpie or something you know or just leave it as is my sisters and them know most of my stuff comes from the dollar tree i always put something special in their gifts but not that's not from the dollar tree but this one opens up and it has the pink border around it and it has scripture on the bottom and i think on the top nope just the scripture on the bottom so that is so cute. They definitely, definitely um, just these up a little bit better and made them a little bit better this year. And the last one is do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. John 14, 1. <sighs> All that purple, y'all. Okay. I don't know which one's going to be mine, <laughs> but it looks like the purple lavender border up here and the lavender border down there. And the scripture is down in the corner. But they definitely, definitely improved on these this year. These were not as nice that I can remember as nice as they were last year. So, anywho, I'm going to put those back in the plastic later on. And we're going to move right on. Okay, I have not been able to find my deodorant that I've been showing you. If you know me and you know my channel, then you know, you know, okay. I like roll on deodorants and I've been really, really loving the power stick, um, for her with it's fragrance free, but I had a feeling they were coming to an end, you know, and I was so sad when I couldn't find them anywhere on the road or here in my area, but I did find two little lonely, um, power stick. Um, this is... I think this is for men, but I don't care. I'm going to use it. It says, what does it say? Shave and skin care power stick, invisible protection, roll on antiperspirant deodorant, and it's in the fragrance of spring fresh. And I smelled this before I purchased it and it smells very good. It's very light. And it says really in small print, shave. But, you know, I shave under my arms all the time. So I was like, it doesn't say anywhere. And I looked hard to see if it was for men. And it didn't even matter to me. Formulated to tame your inner caveman. <laughs> okay, I guess it's for men. But I don't care. I'm using it, okay? Because y'all know I only like roll-on deodorants. And when I can't find them anymore, I'll just go back to Roses and get my... um. <clears throat> I can't even think of it. It's the name brand deodorant that I use all the time. And I haven't used it in so long, I can't even think of the name of it. If I think of it, I'll put it in the video. But yeah, I found these last little two ones. So I just grabbed them while I saw them. And I said, well, usually when they're in black or blue, they're typically for men. Well, 
you know, we'll be okay. We'll be just fine, okay? <laughs> and you guys have been seeing, I'm sure you've all been seeing all the spa luxury stuff uh, floating around. The Spa Luxury Peach Berry was my favorite one out of the apple and the cinnamon something. And what was the other one? Y'all know my brain ain't long as I don't know what. What was the other one? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, I'm, the first item that I bought in this collection was the Peach Berry Mineral Bath Salts. Okay? And I showed y'all that in a few hauls a while ago. Okay? And then they started coming out with the foot mask and the hand mask, which they never did come out in the foot mask or hand mask in the Peach Berry. They only had the, those other two. They're right there. It's right there. I just can't spit it out. Okay. But anywho, <laughs> then they started coming out with the body butters. They came out with the body mist. They came out with the bath bombs. And, um, this is also a shimmering bubble bath. So I didn't realize that I had already picked up one of these spa luxury, um, peach berry scented body butters. So I grabbed another one, but honey, don't worry. I love this stuff. It will not go to waste. I am not giving it away or sharing it. I love, love, love body butters, y'all. And when I get out of the shower and let my skin completely dry, I love to moisturize my skin with body butters. It's so nice and thick and it really feels hydrating. So I was looking in my stash and I was like, when did I get this? So I ended up with two. Okay, no worries. I love this stuff. So it's not going to go two ways at all. And then I got the Spa Luxury Peach Berry Scent Refreshing Body Mist, seven fluid ounces. And I tried this before I bought it in right there in the store. And I sprayed it on earlier and I can still smell it. It smells very, very light, not... um. <clears throat> not intrusive like it'll give you a headache later on you know spa luxury pretty has um pretty much has some good smelling stuff so i like the fact that they came out with new fragrances this year besides the usual they do have the usual stuff that they carry every year but this was nice to have different fragrances and then the only other item in that collection that i purchased was uh, like i said the shimmering bubble bath and this is where when i soak my feet you know, because I, I don't take baths as much as I would love to. But when you get my age with all of my commodities, you can get down there, maybe. But you can't get up, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, shower it is. Shower, unless I get a walk-in tub or walk-in shower. Showers it is. But I like to put this in my foot fixer, and you know, as my bubble bath. And I don't even want to take it off because I might end up packaging this stuff up and gifting it. I just wish I could have found the... um the foot and the hand mask that match the peach berry. But we'll live. We'll go yeah, on. Sweet. Okay. I have a few beauty items here to show you guys. I was so excited, you guys, when I found some more Steeler lip gloss and lipstick. But I did not buy any of the lipstick because I love the Steeler lip gloss. I told you guys before, I wear this every day. This is the Synergy one. And... I wear it over top of my lipstick or without lipstick. And I found some more at the Franklinton Dollar Tree right outside of my little town in Henderson. And I was so surprised and they had so much. But I got another Synergy, right? Yeah, I got another Synergy. And I love that mauve color. If you could see it, I love this stuff. And then I got a different color. This one is... Um, let me see what it's saying. Elevator. Elevator something. Okay. Where's the glasses? <laughs> Let me put on the glasses. Hold on. This one is Elevator Pitch. Okay. So this is a little bit darker, like a browner color. So if you can see this one. What did I just do with that? I don't know what. Oh, there it is. So this one's more like a mauve. A pinkish mauve. And this one's more like a brownish one. So I got two more of my Stila lip glosses, y'all. And like I said, they had the lipstick there as well. So I grabbed those. Oh, let me put those here. 
And then I found one of these clean color rainbow highlighters. And I told y'all before, I don't really wear highlighter, but I thought it was just so pretty. And you could probably use it for eyeshadow as well. But the problem with them was most of them were all broken up. I don't know what that was all about, but I did get one that was not broken up. It looks like this. I showed you guys in a previous walkthrough. Clean color rainbow highlighter. And it's really, really pretty when it wasn't broken up. So I don't know if they had any different colors other than this. Because, like I said, they were all broken up. So I did get this one. And I've been trying to be very, very uh, careful with it. It is taped on both sides. And I tried those gummies that I just showed you, the Nickelodeon. Oh, God, y'all. Those things were... First of all, they were impossible to get open, and then once you got them open, those pineapple gummies were nasty, and I couldn't even get the slime part open. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise you to <laughs> purchase those unless you like stuff like that. I just already threw them in the garbage because I was like, mm, no, I don't like this. Then Nothing like my sushi one, so I'm trying to take this tape off of this rainbow highlighter. So I can see if I can open it up for you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's very, very pretty. I would wear this as eyeshadow, y'all. This is nice. I'm really, really digging that purple down there. But that is what it looks like when it's not broken up. Okay. So I did grab that. And I believe we had these before. And... I didn't realize it until I got it home. Like I told you, Dollar Tree is constantly restocking items from the past and repackaging items, okay? But this is Candy Moyo, and I'm pretty sure we had this before and I bought it. This is Scented Nail and Cuticle Oil, Vitamin E, Lavender Fragrance, and it is a 0 0.37 fluid ounce for $1.25, and it has a little floating flowers in it. That's so pretty. And my... My cuticles could really use, I mean, I have plenty of cuticle oil here, y'all. Dollar Tree keeps us in the loop. <laughs> but it first looked new to me, and they had a pink one. If I can remember, I'll insert the picture of the pink one in there because I can't remember what the fragrance of the pink one was. But it just says, Candy Moil, distributed by Mumi Products out of Winesville Avenue, Ontario, California, made in China. So, yeah, I grabbed that. Okay, and then I found a couple of um, new masks again, and y'all know I'm digging these hands and feet masks, because those are the only ones that I personally will use. I My face will just not let me use anything on my face, but I found the Shea Butter Coconut Oil Collagen. This is from the Spothecary Nourishing Foot Scrub, infused with Shea Butter, Coconut Extract, and Collagen. Cleanse, exfoliates, and moisturizes. These are two packs, y'all. The other side is honey, hydrolonic acid, peach extract. The, the Spothecary Hydrating Heel Glaze, formulated with honey, hydrolonic acid, and peach extract. Nourish, soothe, and softens. And I was like, what? First we get the hand and knuckle mask, you know, and scrubs. Now we got the foot and heel ones. And this is from the Spothecary, um Company. And I was like, what? My, I found these at my large Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road. And there's the one little 25 mark on it. But yeah, look at that. I was like, what? Okay. Definitely will use that. I probably should have got some for my sisters, but... <clears throat> If I go back, I'll get some for them. This one is pumpkin seed, vitamin C, and pumpkin extract, shea butter. So the first one is the Spothecary Exfoliating Foot Scrub with pumpkin seed and vitamin C. It says it exfoliates and moisturizes, cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize. And then the pumpkin extract, shea butter, says it's a hydrating heel cream with pumpkin extract and shea butter. Softens cracked heels and rough dry uh, feet. <laughs> Nourish, soothe, and soften. <laughs> so I'll probably give this one to my sister, Nettie. She loves pumpkin everything. So I'll probably go back and get my sister one like this for me, for her and I, and give this one to Nettie because, yeah, it's all pumpkin. So, but if you can see it, this is what it looks like. 
and I'm just like, okay, for a dollar twenty-five, I'll take it. And there's a little one twenty-five mark on the bottom, so I did grab those, and I believe I showed you guys these in a short. And when I went back to my smaller Dollar Tree earlier today, they still had some, which I was surprised. But this is by Vivispar Beauty Redefine. This is face and body ice roller. Cold therapy helps tighten and rejuvenate the skin, brightens under eye circles, and reduces puffiness. Now, as big as this thing is, y'all, how in the world are you going to get this under your eyes? I don't know, but I showed you these in a short, and they just look so high-end and so expensive no one would ever believe that you got it from the Dollar Tree and I only purchased two I don't know if Odessa wants one or not but I got one for her and her bag is busting at the seams we have got to meet up Odessa so we can get together <laughs> and I could give you all your stuff and I have to mail out my other folks stuff but yeah this thing is huge Helps reduce puffy eyes and redness. Package contents. Face and body ice roller. One year warranty. Then it has a number for you to call. Then the instructions say place the ice roller in freezer for 15 minutes before use. Comfortable grip and large roller. Head is perfect for face, neck, and body. Helps minimize pores. So this is what it looks like. It's by Vivid Spa. I think it, Viv Spa or Viv Spa, Viv, Viv Spa, okay, and it's like, look at this, y'all, you would never believe you got something like this from the Dollar Tree, right, I'm just like, oh my God, and because it's not a Dollar Tree product, there's no Dollar Twenty Five on it anywhere, and you have all the instructions on it, so I was like, whoa, this thing is ginormous. Now, I didn't pick any up for my sisters because I didn't know if they would want anything like this, but I'll check with them and see. I don't even know where to start opening this at, y'all. I would love to open it up for you because this one's mine. And I have so many of these. I just showed you guys recently some of the other ones that I had purchased and they had felt so good, but I could only imagine. Let me open this Ooh, up. Yeah. I'll be right back. That's an act of Congress to get this baby open. But this is what it looks like. This is so nice. The handle is so nice. I do have a little piece of tape on that. But look at this. Oh, wow. You can't even roll it until you put it in there. I don't know if there's any plastic on here that I need to take off. I need to read the instructions, but... This thing is so nice for $1.25, and it has the label on it right there. I was like, wow, look at this thing. Look at the size of it. So you could really, really get in there and massage your, um, your face and your body. So I picked up two of them, like I said, because my girl, OD, I have to take care of her. So I open mine, and there's hers right there, if she wants it. Now, I'll pass it over to one of my sisters. And then I've picked up a few miscellaneous. I've been seeing this floating around on almost on so many different people's hauls. And this is a DAP, Tank Bond, Liquid Grip Adhesive Liquid. Prevents screws from stripping. It says works on all fastener types and sizes. Wipes away clean, reduces wear on tools. So it's seven times more grip plus. Okay, and it's just called Tank Bond. So I just grabbed one because I saw it and I was like, okay, I know that's something new that we haven't had and I don't know what I would use it on. But like I said, I'll take the time to read the instructions and, you know, see what it looks like it's something that you're supposed to use on your screws because they have so many different um screws there so i got that and then this item i found i had to ask the cashier to put into a separate bag because the smell is so strong now i don't mind the smell being strong inside the dishwasher but i don't want it smelling up all the rest of my products so she put it in a separate bag for me and I don't believe my younger sister has a dishwasher. So I just picked up two for right now. One for me and one for my older sister. These are by Homebright. Oh, excuse me. Powerhouse. Dishwasher freshener. Fresh lemon. Leaves a clean, fresh scent. Up to 60 wash cycles. Long time effective and refreshing. Air freshener for your dishwashers. So, you know, we got something like this before. 
I don't know if it was from Powerhouse or Homebrite to keep um, for those little pots that you put in your dishwasher to keep your dishwasher fresh. But now they have this actual freshener that you could just hook in your dishwasher right there and, you know, keep your dishwasher smelling clean. So I did pick up two, but they, honey, you could smell these right through the package, okay? And y'all know I love citrus smelling anything. So I did pick up two of those. Like I said, if my younger sister has a dishwasher, I'll go back and get her one. Okay. A few items coming up, y'all, okay, in this haul. I know y'all hear me saying all the time that I have so many socks. But when I see a sock that I don't recognize or can't remember if I saw it, I have to get it. And my doll my small Dollar Tree, they really do well on the socks. My large Dollar Tree just just today put out some fun socks on the, what I call the wall of shame because it's always empty. And I almost passed out when I saw the fun socks, but they were all the ones that we've already seen. But this is a Barbie one, and I just can't remember seeing this one. And y'all know I tell you all the time, I love all the colors, different colors. It just makes me happy. This is by Mattel Crew Socks, sizes 9 to 13, and it is a Barbie sock. Look at all that color, y'all. I'm just like, ooh, I don't remember seeing these. And they are Barbie socks. So I was like, I grabbed them. When my sister from Jersey comes down, she's probably going to go back home with all these socks, y'all, because she loves them. And this, I have a few of the Winnie the Pooh um, socks, but I just love this basic brown and beige with Winnie the Pooh's face on it. And this is a Disney <laughs> 9 to 13. And it's a crew sock, and it's ribbed at the top. But isn't that cute? And he has a little brown heel. I just don't remember seeing this one. I've seen the other ones, and I believe I have them. But I love me some Winnie the Pooh, y'all. Okay. okay, I grew up with Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Win oh, okay. And this one, I don't even know who this is, but it's just stood out to me, and it didn't look like anything that I had already. This is a Marvel Crew Socks, again, size 9 to 13. Y'all know who this is. Y'all tell me. I thought I knew all the Marvel characters, but I just don't can't remember who this is. So this one looks like this with the yellow and the black, and it's Marvel 9 to 13. So, yeah, I had to get it. I had to get it. And then, as you saw in the thumbnail, I found some more of the... I think I have them all now except for one because... Someone else on my Facebook um, Dollar Tree page was showing these socks, and she showed Elvis and, um, well, maybe not. She showed Elvis and Paul Frank, and when I went back to my small Dollar Tree, they had the NASA one. These are one pair of socks. I've already showed you guys these before with the um, Ozzy Osbourne and Slayer and all of them, and they're all 7 to 12. These are 7 to 12. Okay, and the socks look like this. This is a NASA one, and you can just gift them just like this to and from. So I grabbed that one, and then I found the Paul Frank. First Paul Frank pair of socks I've ever found in my area. I see Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Attic. Her stores get flooded with Paul Frank socks. Mm -mm. This is the first pair that I've ever found in my area. And again, it is 7 to 12. And it's the Paul Frank, and that's what the sock looks like right there. And again, you could just gift these just the way they are, but I just think it's so neat the way they made them like this. So I got that one, okay? And then the last one I found was a Fender. This was one pair of socks, again, this is the Fender. The only way I, one I think I'm missing is Elvis, unless there's more out there. And we've all seen the, the the Fender socks before, but not like this, okay? And they look like this with all the guitars all around them. And again, to and from and 7 to 12. So I grabbed them. When I saw them, I grabbed them because these make great, great gifts. So... Other than that, the last item in this haul that was not in the thumbnail, I was so happy I found these over at my small Dollar Tree, and I believe I saw these a while ago on my girl Lady C's, 
Paul's an old um, channel, and I think she found these, but I found the Simple Kitchen Mini Mitts for $1.25 in the Bumblebee. Oh my God, I could not believe it. I got the last two in my small Dollar Tree, y'all. And you know, when springtime comes and I put out my bee decorations, these mitts will go right into my kitchen. I actually love, love, love these oven mitts, y'all. I use them every day, all the time. They are so great. You don't get burnt by them, you know. But when I found it in my bumblebee, I was like, yes, please. <laughs> so that is it for today, my sweets. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video out if you care to. And everyone, have a blessed start to your new week. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.